everybody, my name is Grace. I'm an adult services librarian at the Grandview Heights Public Library, and I am here today for our very first uh, adult book talk. We'll be back every Wednesday uh, on our Facebook and Instagram pages to recommend some titles that we think you might enjoy. Um, we've been doing this for a while for our middle and teen grades, um, and actually just recently we started doing them for younger kids as well. You'll find those on our um, Youth Services Facebook page, so head over that way if you're looking for recommendations for those age groups. Um, just to let you know, the library will be opening for limited browsing on March 8th, but these are some great recommendations that you can actually request for drive through pickup uh, before we open or even afterwards if you're more comfortable with picking up holds rather than coming in, um, or they might lead you to another book that you want to explore when you actually come in and visit us. The first book that we are going to talk about is one of my favorites. It's called City of Thieves by David Benioff. When I put this on my list, actually another coworker came and told me this was one of her favorite books, but she had never uh, met anyone else who had read it, and I had never met anyone else who had read it, um, but it's fantastic. So we're trying to spread the word. Uh, David Benioff is actually one of the showrunners for Game of Thrones, um, so he definitely is a talented um, creative writer, uh, but this is a totally different kind of thing. Um, it's a historical fiction novel, and it's based on um, his grandfather, though again fictionalized, telling him his story of, um, you know, a coming-of-age tale during World War II. So his grandfather is uh, on the Eastern Front, and a pilot goes down, and he pilfers some things from the pilot's body, and he's arrested for that. The adventure starts when, in order to escape prison, he and his pal here, uh, they have the option to, um, well... If they find enough eggs for the colonel's daughter's wedding, they'll be freed. If they don't, they'll be executed. So it's sort of the, um, the journey that they go on to find these eggs, which are, of course, really hard to find, um, you know, as World War II is kicking off, especially where they are. Uh, and, and they encounter some just wild stuff, good stuff, really bad stuff. There's humor, there's romance. Um, and it's just a beautifully written story. Uh, if you're a historical fiction fan, you'll love it. If you're not a historical fiction fan, I, I really think you'll still enjoy it because it reads like a memoir. I truly thought it was his grandfather's story until I looked into the book um, after I finished it and learned that it was entirely historical fiction. So um, it's really, really well written um, and, and it's one of the best books I've probably ever read in my life. So highly recommend this one, City of Thieves by David Benioff. The next book we're going to talk about is called Talking to Strangers by Malcolm Gladwell. This is a nonfiction pick. Um, I recommend listening to this one on audiobook, which you can do either on CD um, or you can download it through our digital downloads collection. We have a webinar on March 16th that we'll be hosting. I'll actually be teaching that one, um, talking about how to download those ebooks and audiobooks. So if you have any questions, you can join us then. Um, basically, this is about the ways that humans struggle to communicate with one another effectively um, and the ways that we communicate well. But it sort of uh, goes back on the principle that humans um, want to trust the person that they're talking to, even if they probably shouldn't. So it gives sort of um, instances, public instances, that we all would have heard about where there was a big miscommunication. We believed someone's story that we shouldn't have. Um, someone got into some trouble because they told a lie or listened to a lie. Uh, and it was just really powerful, some stuff that... Um, as it was happening, you know, maybe in the news, it, it was hard to make sense of why it happened the way it did um, or why someone behaved the way that they did. And, and it, it does a really good job of sort of explaining some of the psychology of maybe how something like that happens um, and, and why, because we are all human. So it was really, really interesting. I've enjoyed a lot of Malcolm Gladwell's books, um, Outliers, uh, The Tipping Point. Um, I would recommend any of them, but this is his most recent. It was just really fantastic and I think really relevant to um, a time where we're all struggling maybe to communicate with one another since I think we're all a little bit out of practice. The third book I'm going to recommend is actually the start of a series. It's called The Invisible Library by Genevieve Cogman. Um, the most recent one just came out actually, so I'm recommending this first one. This is the first in the series because they'll all make more sense if you go in order, but um, I think there's eight now, and I just read the most recent one. It was fantastic as well. Um, this is a fantasy series. Uh, I, I like to tell people that if you're now an adult and you loved Harry Potter, you will love this series. Um, basically, you have Irene, who is a professional spy working for an invisible library. Uh, they basically go into these different worlds and try to rescue these books that are at, at risk, uh, but that are integral to the survival of that world. Um, they explain it a little bit better than I do, but... Um, you have sort of romance with her um, dragon in human form, uh, boyfriend, not boyfriend, apprentice. It's complicated. 
um, but she's a spy, it's a thriller, you have magic involved. She speaks this special language called the language, uh, where basically she can make things do what she wants. She can tell a door to close uh, behind her to keep her you know, safe from a villain. She can um, tell the floor to catch on fire to, to keep someone at bay. Um, so it's, it's fantasy, but it's set in a somewhat realistic um, environment, but then there's more than one of those. So anyway, I love this series, The Invisible Library. Again, there's, I think, eight total now, um, and I think more coming. So I highly recommend this one. I have read them all, but I thought they would be great audiobooks. Um, so definitely check these out. All right, those are the books we're going to talk about this week. We'll be back every Wednesday on our Facebook and Instagram pages at uh, right about 11 a.m. And we'll talk about two or three books that we all love. Um, it could be something new. It could be a classic. It could be like these sort of hidden gems in the collection. Um, I like to talk about stuff that isn't brand new because it tends not to have a huge wait list. Um, so you can get them right away after deciding if it's something that you'd like to read. Um, if you're interested in something for a different age group, like I said, check out our youth services page. Uh, they have stuff for pretty much every age group all the way up through high school. Uh, and if you have a specific recommendation you're looking for on our website, you'll see a tab for discover your next read. You can let us know something you've enjoyed, something you didn't, um, and we can make some recommendations sort of tailored to you. Um, so feel free to call, um, contact us by chat, email. We'd love to hear from you. Hopefully we'll be open soon and you can come in and see us in person um, and we can make some recommendations there too. Thanks. Bye-bye.